I'm Jack Beck in Israel in a beautiful garden with thoughts for you about creation care. I care very deeply about the health of the earth and the well-being of the animals, plants, and insects that call it home. I care in part because this is my home. But I care even more because of what I hear about this place in Genesis 1 and the relationship between the Lord and the natural world. Let me tell you what I see in Genesis 1. The natural world belongs to the Lord. 17 times in Genesis 1, we have language that describes God's act of creating or calling into being. And every one of those 17 verbs is a verb that says, who owns the place? The second thing I see in Genesis 1 is that the natural world brings the Lord joy and pleasure. I see that in the word good. It occurs seven times as the Lord pauses during creation to reflect on what he sees. The Hebrew word good, tov, means more than it was physically made correctly. It means that I'm enjoying what I've just made. Psalm 104, 31, the Lord rejoices in what he has made. As a caretaker of this earth, I have the great privilege of superintending the well-being of my home. But I dare not forget that this world belongs to someone else. This is my father's world, and it's a place that gives him joy and pleasure. And so I want to be very cautious in how I live and how I manage myself and my ecosystems to be sure that I don't in any way damage this earth in a way that diminishes the divine joy in it. I care deeply about pleasing my Father. And one of the ways that I can please Him is to care for His creation.